I say all of this to you because I have seen it firsthand, how much happier someone can be when they disregard the outside noise and move closer and closer to God's will in their life. Isabel's dream of having a career might not have come true, but if you asked her today if she has any regrets on her decision, she would laugh out loud without hesitation and say, heck no. Are women allowed at the games or do I have to stay at home with the kids and cook? My husband says I can't go, I have to stay at home with the children. Do I have to ask my husband if I'm allowed to buy tickets though? I'm not sure if you guys uh, have been made aware of Harrison Bucker's little speech that he did. Yeah, it's, it's quite something. Had me a little bit annoyed. Has the internet pretty annoyed? So annoyed that people are calling him Harrison Butt Licker. Well, Harrison Butt Licker, the Kansas City Chiefs kicker. That sounds like an Eminem lyric. Um, he basically came out as uh, a men's right activist, as a trad wife proponent. Yep, it's not looking too good. So if we're gonna be able to get through this, I need to make one point extremely clear. I do not agree with his views and also don't really know a lot about um, football, American football, gonna be completely honest. As far as I'm aware, he is on the team, <laughs> plays for the Chiefs, which is American football. There's a number seven on the back of his thing and he kicks. He's a kickballer. He kicks the ball. He's a ball kicker, as far as my knowledge will go. He's also on the same team that Travis Kelsey is, who I believe is Taylor Swift's new boyfriend. This is all gonna make a hell of a lot of sense in just a minute because um, he basically drops Travis in it and the Swifties are not very happy. People within the LGBTQ plus community are not happy. Women are not happy. Men, uh, for the most part, I don't even know. I've seen quite a lot of comments from men and women actually saying that what he's saying is completely correct. I'm just gonna get into it because you're probably really quite interested. You're probably going, well, what has he said? What could he possibly have said? Kansas City Chiefs kicker, Harrison Butker. Now, I'm gonna really try and not call him butt liquor because whenever I change people's names to um, suit how I kind of feel, get hold off for doing that. Jalulu, Jennifer Lopez, also get hold off. So I'm gonna try and not do that, but I'm just gonna let you know if you would prefer to use the name Harrison butt liquor, then by all means do so. I'm certain the reporters at the AP could not have imagined that their attempt to rebuke and embarrass places and people like those here at Benedictine wouldn't be met with anger, but instead met with excitement and pride. Not the deadly sin sort of pride that has an entire month dedicated to it, but the true God-centered pride that is cooperating with the Holy Ghost to glorify him. Harrison came on and he is a Catholic, pretty raging Catholic. I will say this right now, not every single Catholic or Christian, whoever, whatever, um, has these same beliefs. I was actually brought up fairly religious. I don't, you guys probably wouldn't know that. Um, but it was, my whole family are pretty religious, but not in this kind of sense religious. They're just religious in the sense that they go to church and they used to make me go to church. I used to do Sunday school, used to do all of that kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, I'm also christened as well. Not every single Christian person holds these same values. So I do just want to stress that because I know that there's probably going to be a whole load of people going, well, he was saying it to like a Catholic college and he's really Catholic and blah, 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 blah. Not every single person has these same beliefs maybe you can call you can say amy you're really ignorant what are you talking about from my own personal experience not everyone shares these beliefs but by the way i'm not religious anymore i just thought i would insert that bit of knowledge he decided to give this graduation speech where he basically turned around he insulted the women in the crowd who have obviously been there and they have spent four five years and they spent a long time getting their degrees ball kicker then comes on and he then basically says that women have been lied to that a woman's only true role is a homemaker and that every all the women there well done for getting your degrees but you know what i can imagine you're going to be so happy about doing is being a homemaker and to get out there and start having children. Congratulations on an amazing accomplishment. You should be proud of all that you have achieved to this point in your young lives. I want to speak directly to you briefly because I think it is you, the women, who have had the most diabolical lies told to you. How many of you are sitting here now about to cross this stage and are thinking about all the promotions and titles you are going to get in your career? 
Some of you may go on to lead successful careers in the world, but I would venture to guess that the majority of you are most excited about your marriage and the children you will bring into this world. I can tell you that my beautiful wife, Isabel, would be the first to say that her life truly started when she began living her vocation as a wife and as a mother. I'm on this stage today and able to be the man I am because I have a wife who leans into her vocation. I'm beyond blessed with the many talents God has given me, but it cannot be overstated that all of my success is made possible because a girl I met in band class back in middle school would convert to the faith, become my wife, and embrace one of the most important titles of all, homemaker. Obviously, there are a lot of people that share those same beliefs. I mean, you literally have to look in the comment section and you'll be astounded by the amount of people that also think the same. Homemaker. You can watch the full speech over on YouTube. But um, I went and watched the speech. He said, <clears throat> I'm gonna get this right. While COVID might have played a large role throughout your formative years, it is not unique. And he took aim at bad policies and poor leadership that he says have negatively impacted major life issues. Things like abortion, IVF, surrogacy, Ethunate, ethun I can't say this word, ethunage, I know what I know what I mean, you know what I mean, ethunage, I can't say it, as well as the growing support for degenerative cultural values in media all stem from the pervasiveness of disorder. Now what he was going on about, which he wasn't really quite like, he wasn't quite saying, is I believe he was talking about trans people because he then later on went on to go and say something such as, um, having it around your children something like that i'm pretty sure he was talking about trans people i will insert it if i can include it as well as a growing support for degenerate cultural values and media all stem from the pervasiveness of disorder our own nation is led by a man who publicly and proudly proclaims his catholic faith but at the same time is delusional enough to make the sign of the cross during a pro-abortion rally he has been so vocal in his support for the murder of innocent babies that I'm sure to many people, it appears that you can be both Catholic and pro-choice. He is not alone. From the man behind the COVID lockdowns to the people pushing dangerous gender ideologies onto the youth of America all have a glaring thing in common. They are Catholic. This is an important reminder that being Catholic alone doesn't cut it. These are the sorts of things we are told in polite society to not bring up. You know, the difficult and unpleasant things. But if we are going to be men and women for this time in history, we need to stop pretending that the Church of Nice is a winning proposition. We must always speak and act in charity, but never mistake charity for cowardice. It is safe to say that over the past few years, I've gained quite the reputation for speaking my mind. He then said, not the deadly sin sort of pride that has a whole month dedicated to it. Now, I know... Should we be surprised? Ignore what I just said at the very beginning when I was saying not everyone thinks like he does. There are a very large percentage of people who are Catholic who do think all of these things. So is that surprising? No. Do I think that should be okay? No. Sit here all day and tell him just what an absolute asshat he's being. He was trying to lean on this, on this kind of sob story that he, you know, was able to be the best man that he could be. He was trying to make that point, saying, I can really focus on my career kicking balls um, because I have a homemaker at home. Which, okay, I can kind of understand that a little bit more because obviously someone is staying at home so that you can kick a ball. Okay, I get that, I get that. Because in quite a lot of situations, you can have a wife or a husband who decide to sacrifice their career so that they can stay at home with the kids. The fact is that he came straight out the gate. Women, you've been lied to. What I felt about his speech was him going, yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's cool. You got your little degrees and everything, but you're not really gonna do anything with it, are you? You're not really gonna get anywhere, are you? because where you should really be is in the kitchen making me a sandwich so that I can go kick a ball. All right, well, since I have about 200 of y'all congratulating me and asking me what the fuck I was thinking during this speech, 
I thought I'd respond. Yeah, it was fucking horrible. <laughs> um, some of us did boo. Me and my roommate definitely did. There was a standing ovation from everyone in the room. Except from me, my roommate, and about 10 to 15 other women. You also have to keep in mind this was at a Catholic and conservative college. So a lot of the men were like, fuck yeah. <laughs> they were excited. It was, it was horrible. Most of the women were looking back and forth at each other like, what the fuck is going on? Like, did he just come here to speak about politics and his views on women? And do you want to hear the most interesting part about all of this? His mum is a renowned scientist, physicist. She's high up. She's a very educated woman. So do you want to hear my conspiracy theory? I think that he was ignored a little bit too much when he was a child because his parents were always out working and he kind of resents his mum a little bit for that. So he's now taken a whole entire approach where he thinks that all women should be at home to be to his beck and call because he never quite received that attention off of his mum. That's what I think. This is Harrison Butker's mom, Elizabeth Butker. And I want you to just look at her credentials. She is a medical physicist on staff at Emory University. She has a bachelor's from Smith College, a master's in medical physics at the Georgia Institute of Technology, and she's been in the Department of Radiation Oncology at Emory University for 36 years. And it makes me wonder if he realized what a direct insult that was to his own parent. And it is evident that he has no respect for the work that she did and continues to do. Editing Amy here, but I just wanted to point this one out because I don't feel like I have like pointed this out enough upon editing, is that being a stay-at-home wife, being a stay-at-home mom, being a stay-at-home parent um, to kids, being a home, you know, it's, it's the most underappreciated job. When I was with my ex, I've got two little kids. I was a stay-at-home mom for six years, something a bit like that, kind of doing work off and on. And now I'm a single work from home mum. <laughs> so I like fully salute anyone who decides that, you know, they just want to stay at home, look after their kids, da, da 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 It doesn't make your achievements any less than someone who decided to like climb up the ladder and do it this and that. Like, no, that's never the thing. But I think it's all about choice. You shouldn't be made to feel like a crappy mum if you decide you know that you want to go out and you want to do the corporate thing and you you stay at home mum life just is not for you homemaking life is not for you shouldn't be made to feel guilty likewise you shouldn't be made to feel guilty if all you want to do is be a homemaker but like at the end of the day you should not be shamed uh for what you decide to do and people like harrison coming in and i feel like perpetuating these like this ideology basically saying that like women are not allowed a choice you can even you can sense it in the fact that he's talking about abortion the whole point is that you shouldn't be made to feel guilty whatever avenue you decide to go down but we're talking about women specifically here you so important to be able to give women that choice and giving even offering that choice is a privilege in itself because loads of people do not get a choice like there are people out there who get no choice, they have to go out, they have to be the breadwinner, they can't spend much, like it is a privilege in a lot of cases to be able to choose if you want to stay at home or if you want to go out to work because a lot of the time people do not have a choice. It, it gets worse as well because not only do we have all of this going on, I'm pretty sure the Chiefs did actually respond. Yeah, they definitely did respond. The NFL Senior Vice President and Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer told people, Harrison gave a speech in his personal capacity. His views are not those of the NFL as an organisation. The NFL is steadfast in our commitment to inclusion, which only makes our league stronger. Message to the smallest man who ever lived. At least I can offer one controversial antidote that I believe will have a lasting impact for generations to come. Get married and start a family. But either way, they're gonna have like a PR nightmare on this one. But what, like I just said, some people do actually agree with what he's saying, which is the, you know, I don't think that's right. But some people do agree with what he's saying. Two things, right? 
So he went on and he decided to quote Taylor Swift and said something like, and my, as my teammate's girlfriend says, and then decided to use a quote from one of her songs. Not only that, but we are now gonna have all the Swifties on his case. It's gonna be a weird one because we're now kind of fully aware on how much Taylor Swift and the NFL have worked in correspondence with each other because ever since she got with Travis, she has been there within the within like the top seats. A lot of the Swifties will tune in, like I say, she is like whatever. So there has actually been some sort of a business transaction going on between Taylor Swift's presence and the NFL and the fact that she's introducing her audience to the whatever. I've read so many things on the situation and it's a very interesting one. So I feel at some point Travis is gonna have to respond or she is because I don't believe that Taylor shares those same values. Could be wrong, could be a facade, but I don't think she shares all those values. Urged men to be unapologetic in their masculinity and fight against the cultural emasculation of men and also quoted Taylor Swift from her hit song Bejeweled saying, as my teammate's girlfriend says, familiarity breeds contempt. However, I don't believe Taylor Swift would agree with any part of this speech. Harrison has been getting a lot of backlash online for his downright misogynistic speech. This person says one of the worst parts of this NFL player's awful speech is that he quoted a Taylor Swift song before telling women they should be homemakers and serve their man's career. So there's actually a change.org petition to get Harrison off of the Chiefs to stop kicking the ball. They want a new ball kicker so they're trying to get Harrison off the team. The Kansas City Chiefs to dismiss Harrison Butchka but but kicker but for discriminatory remarks and the goal was 200,000 signatures and it's got 171,980 so if you feel really really strongly about this i will leave that petition linked in the description box i think that what he said was just absolutely appalling but like i say does it doesn't surprise me given his very strict kind of belief system and the fact that other people also have this belief system doesn't surprise me that doesn't mean it's okay and doesn't mean that that should be tolerated i think there comes a point people are like you should be able to have your own opinions have your own opinions as long as it's not discriminating whole whole like groups of people as long as it's not almost providing a hate speech towards people but him standing up especially about i'll bring us back him standing up and basically only saying negative things about the lgbtq plus community that is hating on a community that is not an opinion that you should be sharing because it encourages other people to also hate on that community especially with such a large platform um, given the position that he is, the societal position that he is in, if you're using those opinions to target and diminish groups of people, no, that shouldn't be allowed. No, that shouldn't be allowed whatsoever because you are basically influencing other people to also hate on those communities. He's basically telling other men that, you know, already have a kind of really fragile masculinity ego going on. You are just encouraging men to think that all women are a homemakers and baby machines and to say that in front of a load of women who have just graduated spent years doing something and to then just say mm, you've kind of been lied to sorry about that well done though but you don't really belong here. I sound really petty and I know that I do. I did actually also study sport and exercise science. I understand there's a lot of training involved in what he's doing, but the point still stands. He's kicking balls around a field and he's telling women that they should really belong in the kitchen. The theme of their video was crushing, so these are the TikTok comments. How about crushing your contract with Harrison Butker? Put Harrison Butker in there next. Oops, you forgot to show Harrison Butker's career. Social managers, y'all better get on a PR statement. Don't you know if they're stressing? This one. Is this symbolism of what Butker just did to his career? Yes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves, and I will catch up with you guys in the next video.